Hey, this is Cory the Yard Buddha, and I've already done a video on keeping Mugo Pines kind of the same height, but in this one I want to show you how I actually reduce the size. And so my strategy is to just kind of go around and take out two or three of the bottom limbs all the way to the ground. Um, the client just wants this much smaller and more compact. And then when you do want to reduce the size on a tree, you just need to go down the branch until you actually still have some candles coming up. So I can take out this big chunk right here and still have some new growth for next year. So it's not going to be dramatic. It's not going to be like two or three feet. Usually you have to do this each year and you'll eventually get it much smaller. So it's probably going to be about six or eight inches. Okay, I've taken off a bunch of the limbs on the outside and kind of the bottom just to make it into a much smaller space. This is the material that I took out. Hopefully that's pretty self-explanatory. You just want to get the limbs that are shooting way out to the side and also chop the big ones kind of near the sides off at the bottom. So that's probably about, I don't know, a fifth of the tree. And so now we'll start doing some reducing on the interior here. And so what I'm talking about is just bringing down this branch all the way to where you still have some um, candles coming out. And so you just kind of look down the branch. You don't want to go down to where it's brown. You don't want to cut down past that. Um, There's a bunch of bunch of branches coming out of this one here that are much smaller. So just take the long one out and then leave kind of this bunch. Every tree is going to be different on how much that you can actually take out. As long as you leave some candles left on the branch, it's still gonna sprout back up next year. So like this one here, I don't really see any candles down much lower than that. So I'll just go and kind of chop out the middle or at least the, the biggest branches. I'd like to take big chunks out if I can. So like this one here has this big top right here, but it has some more candles coming out the sides there. And then I will come back later and trim off all these candles as well. You can't really take off like two feet each year unless you just want to have stubs that are not going to grow. So let's look at this big one right here. So I probably took out about eight inches of that one. You know, leave at least two or three candles left. Let's see if we can find 
another big candidate here. As long as you leave, leave those new sprouts for next year, should be fine. Let's go over here to more obvious ones. You can see they aren't all bunched up. So, like with this one, I can take out this big huge chunk and it's still going to have some candles over there. I even have some candles down low here too, so. There you go, that's a good example of taking a bunch out, but still leaving a little bit to grow next year. And it, I mean, it's not gonna look awesome this year but next year this will all develop new growth and here just going down the branch there's just two candles i see on there so i'm going to leave it So yeah, that's basically what I'm going to be doing here. So let me get through this bush and I'll show you the results at the end. Okay, I got most of the height out and I also thinned it out a little bit too. One other tip I wanted to show you is in my previous video on reducing the height, I went through with my little snippers and I snipped off all the candles just to make sure that those don't get any bigger for next year and then you're gonna get a lot more budding that's going to come out of the, the base of those as long as you don't go too deep. So I try to just do halfway. But if you do have a pair of an electric hedge clippers, you can save yourself some time. You do have to be careful, but you can do the same thing with this. You basically just want to take out the highest ones. You don't really need to worry about the ones on the bottom and the sides all that much. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Do the other four bushes and I'll show you the final product. All right, I'm all done with the pines here today. So I did this one here, much smaller than it was. That one. And then there's two over there. You can see them. So hopefully you guys learned a little bit just about reducing the size on some of these pines. Kind of totally depends on what the pine will give you if it has candles down lower on the branches or not. But if you liked it, 
give me a subscribe and a like and we'll see you next time bye